Today we're looking at Chain of Babel as an alternative to Chain of Thought. Chain of Babel is what I call my blah 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 prompt. Basically, I found that by putting copy blah 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 100 times first at the start of a prompt for a complex task, we can manage to get AI to show greater reasoning abilities and skills. Yes, I know how wild that sounds. Now in this case, we're using a constraint satisfaction problem to test chain of thought, chain of babble and a control. A constraint satisfaction problem is just a logic puzzle where you're given some known variables and have to work out the rest by satisfying given constraints. The one I'm using today is of my own design. It's called What is the Android Afraid Of? I'll include it in the description, but all you need to know for now is that the answer is snakes. When we put the puzzle into Claude Sonnet 4.5, using incognito mode, of course. We get 100 blahs and then the correct answer, snakes. Note, it gives the answer almost instantly in just five seconds, the time it takes to generate the output on screen. There's no extraneous reasoning taking place. Now let's try it without chain of babble. There's the question, now Select incognito mode, and now you see it attempts to solve step by step. Conventional wisdom tells us this is the right approach for AI, but let's see. It looks good, taking its time, but there you go, the wrong response. It says the android's worst fear is public speaking. It took about 20 seconds so four times as long. Finally, let's give it a fair chance with an explicit chain of thought prompt. The chain of thought prompt effectively says, please solve this step by step using the following systematic approach. One, setup phase. First, create a clear framework with five positions and identify all the categories we need to track. 2. Extract direct facts. List all statements that give us absolute facts, without conditions. 3. Identify positional clues. Separate clues about relative positions. 4. Start with certainties. Begin placing items where you have the most constraints or direct information. 5. Chain connections. When you place one item, immediately check what other clues connect to it. 6. Use process of elimination. After placing some items, explicitly note what options remain for each position and category. 7. Test for consistency. After each deduction, verify it doesn't contradict any existing clues. 8. Track your reasoning. For each deduction, cite which clues led to that conclusion. 9. Find the android. Once you've deduced most attributes, identify which position is the android and what fear is associated with that position. 10. Verify the solution. Check your final answer against all clues to ensure complete consistency. Remember, work incrementally, update your grid after each deduction, and if you hit a contradiction, backtrack to find where the logic went wrong. I think we can all agree that's a fair chain of thought. But look, it's still reasoning. There's a long way for it to go. Briefly, while that's processing, let me tell you why I no longer test this in ChatGPT5. They now have a safety router that derails complex questions into a reasoning model. This means we can no longer opt out of the longer reasoning mode, even when explicitly asking for instant model. This means we can't really test Chain of Babel, as it's overridden by the auto-switcher. 
That's why I only use Claude. Finally, three minutes later we get the result, and it's wrong. Compare this with how fast and correct Chain of Babel was. As remarkable as it seems, letting AI blurt out blah 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 100 times before it starts seems to prime the model for better results than Chain of Thought. Why does this work? I don't know yet. But clearly we have to stop trying to shoehorn AI reasoning into our anthropomorphic view of what thinking looks like. Jimmy, I